Um, I remember ages ago coming back from a holiday and chatting with some friends and um, I'd actually been on my own to India for the first time and had the most brilliant holiday and um, when I came back I was chatting with some friends and mentioned that I'd, I'd done that and one of them turned to me and said oh my god Deb I'm so sorry how awful that you had to go on your own if I'd known you had no one to go with um, I'd have gone with you and um, it really took me by surprise because it, it took me a while to realise that she actually felt really sorry for me for going on my own and, um, and sort of thought that that was a terrible situation and why would I ever want to do that and um, I think as you read more and more kind of articles solo female travel is so so popular now and there are so many things written about it but there still seems to be this underlying sort of uh, tone of um, you're only doing it because you've got no one else to go with and you know if you had lots of friends or you must be a billion no mates um, to, to want you know to, to go on your own if you had lots of friends you'd be going with them and um, that's just really not 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 true at all I mean I have lots of friends I go on holiday with family with friends I join groups for certain things but there are so many times when I just want to have the holiday that I really really have my heart set on um, and I want to do that on my own. And I was trying to figure out why it was so important for me um, to do it on my own. And um, and I think one of the big reasons is that when I travel with any other people or just sort of generally in, in my life when I'm in a group situation, I always seem to defer to the group and kind of, yeah, go with the flow and and sort of ultimately can end up feeling a bit disappointed in situations where you would have really, I would have much rather really done something else. So, so I think there is a bit of selfishness in that decision because I will not compromise anymore on holidays that, you know, I save hard for, I plan, I look forward to, and I really want to do them the way that I want to do them. Um, so that's really important. And if that's selfish, well then, yeah, I guess it is kind of selfish, but, um, I've also had emails recently um, and messages from ladies who are married, have families, um, sort of, you know, over 50, um, and also choose to take a week or two weeks to go off on their own and do something completely solo without anybody else because they find that as a great sort of time for them to, to put themselves first and to be a little bit selfish. So, um, you know, please don't feel sorry for people who travel on their own. It is a decision to do that. And I'm all about traveling in whatever way you want. If you want to join a group, great. If you want to drive an open top car, you know, across Africa or whatever you want to do, backpack around the world, um, just be confident and feel confident enough to, to choose that style of travel. And don't feel as though, um, you know, you always have to find someone to go with you. Um, if there is something that you really want to do and you, and you want to do that, um, have the courage to do it on your own and uh, you will be I'm quite sure really 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 pleasantly surprised and who knows it might start um, might start you down that path of solo travel thanks